What is going on ladies and gentlemen? How you guys doing today? This is Anthony from the Knights 4 and today on Mindless Horror News we're going to talk about the newest HHN leaks and some Midsummer Screen recaps. So without further ado, let's get this video started. How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Like I said, my name is Anthony from the Knights of Horror. We're going to try something new. In the past I did the Mindless Horror mini cast. I'm just going to call it Mindless Horror News. If I can't get a host, um, this is going to be a weekly news show that I'm going to try to keep you guys informed with going on in the horror uh, world and stuff like that. But we got some breaking news as of yesterday. I should have reported this yesterday, but I'm reporting it, reporting it now. Breaking news, we have officially gotten some HHN 2018 leaks all the way out in our friends in the east coast of Orlando um, So apparently someone who was staying at one of the hotels an advertisement came on for uh, Universal Studios Orlando and it uh, It advertised Halloween Horror Nights and it advertised uh, of course Stranger Things which we already got announced uh, pretty early on uh, But then it advertised two of the mazes that we haven't had announced yet that mean Halloween 4 and Poltergeist. Um, Poltergeist was on the leak lineup and Halloween 2018 was on the leak lineup. Uh, we don't know why they're doing Halloween 4 yet. Maybe because it has something to do with copyright issues. Who knows? Um, I remember uh, about a month or so back though, SoCal Exploring actually called this property. He said that uh, Halloween 4 would be coming to the event. Um, so congrats to SoCal Exploring. Congrats to SoCal Exploring for calling the, uh, the property. So. Yeah, Poltergeist was also rumored to come to the um, event as well. Uh, we've seen uh, numerous uh, construction updates of the Poltergeist uh, facade, being that it's the house and it looks exactly like from the movie. So that is cool that we got confirmation. At least we think it's confirmation that Poltergeist and Halloween 4 are coming to the event. Me personally, I know that I think the Poltergeist uh, maze will be where the Saw maze was located last year and. Um, I want to say Halloween 4 is going to be in the Waterworld queue, so more on that pretty soon. Hopefully we get an announcement from Murdy himself pretty soon announcing these properties for both HHN Hollywood and HHN Orlando, so be on the lookout for that. Midsummer Screen just passed uh, about a week or two ago as you're watching this, uh, as this recording, and there was a lot of stuff that got announced. Um, I only went Sunday, but I, uh, I saw a lot of the panels from Saturday, uh, specifically Not Scary Farm, announced a new scare zone that they're bringing back that they haven't done in a while. Gonna be located, I think, in the Silver Bullet area, where it's gonna like look like a, I think it's like a lagoon or something like that, and it's supposed to be, it looks pretty bitchin', so we're very looking forward to that. Gonna head over to Not Scary Farm this year. I know the family wants to go, so we're gonna go together, it should be fun. However, I did go on Sunday uh, for Midsummer Scream, and I met up with uh, the league. I saw I met SoCal Exploring. Uh, Awkward Arsic was there. It was really, really cool to see everyone in person for the first time. I mean, we've always talked around the internet and stuff like that, but now to see everyone in person was really cool. But nonetheless, there was three panels that day. We had Queen Mary Dark Harbor, uh, Warner Brothers Horror Made here, Festival Frights, and Halloween Horror Nights. So let's start off with Queen Mary Dark Harbor, which had an amazing uh, lineup of announcements. They announced their pretty much a whole event of what we're going to be seeing this year. Uh, and they also introduced um, one of the guys from Not Scary Farm, one of the creative people from Not Scary Farm, is on board now with Queen Mary Dark Harbor. So that was a cool announcement. Um, all in all, though, this this uh, panel was straight up funny. They announced all their uh, all their icons are coming back and stuff like that. Some new twists on some new uh, mazes and stuff like that. Uh, they're bringing back original mazes but putting, like I said, new twists on them. So that's pretty cool. Um, a lot of bar talk. I guess this event is a very alcohol friendly event. So there's a lot of bars in each maze that you go through. And they said this year that you're going to be able to choose your own path. Which is really cool to me because that means that you can uh, essentially... Uh, choose where you want to go in the maze. So there's the maze is not going to be the same every time you go through, which I I think is an awesome idea for Queen Mary. So good for Queen Mary. I'm thinking honestly about going this year. Queen Mary and uh, Warner Brothers are literally right now killing it for me as of right now, um, and those are the two most hyped events I am excited for this year. Going on to Warner Brothers Festival of Frights, 
they announced some amazing stuff that's gonna happen on their back lot. I guess they've been doing this for two years now. The first year they did it on the back lot, I had no idea, but the second year, I guess, was the Neibolt house, the Neibolt experience. Uh, but then, I guess, uh, they also said they did some conjuring stuff last year, which I don't remember even hearing about this, so. Um, this year, I am. I already got my tickets for it. October 6th, I'll be there at uh, Warner Brothers um, Horror Made Here Festival of Frights with the amazing lineup of It Knows Your Fear, um, the Arkham Asylum Joker Maze, which sounded amazing. So basically, you're going to be a patient going into Arkham Asylum, and Joker's going to decide whether you are guilty or not, but most likely you're going to be guilty, and you're going to go see a bunch of the infamous villains from the Batman universe. It's supposed to be taking place in the Batman game universe, which is awesome because I love the Arkham uh, trilogy, um, or should I say, is it trilogy? No, Saga, because there's four of them, Arkham Origins and all that, so that's going to be really fun. I cannot wait to go through that. Um, uh, they announced that they're going to do a Conjuring Universe maze, so that also gives the hope of the Conjuring and it ever coming to HHN because Warner Brothers has the rights to them because of New Line Cinema and everything. So they're going to bring the Conjuring maze or universe to the event, which is going to be the Conjuring films, the Annabelle films, and of course the Nun. So that should be really fun. They're also going to do a uh, Freddy vs. Jason kind of thing in their uh, jungle uh, lake area, which I've been on the tour and it's a really cool area. So that's going to be really cool to see come to life. That area is seriously perfect for Camp Crystal Lake, so I'm very much looking forward to that. They're also going to do something that I'm a little skeptical of going through and checking out, but I'm still going to see it nonetheless, which is The Exorcist, but they're going to show the scariest parts of the movie inside a church set. You're going to be sitting in pews and it's going to be ultimately a 4D experience. So that a little skeptical about that, but I'm still gonna go check it out, so that should be fun. Other than that though, Warner Brothers is looking like it's gonna kill it this year. I am very excited to go. My first year going and hopefully it becomes a yearly tradition. Now let's move on to HHN's panel, which was a little bit of a disappointment, but still nonetheless a very good panel. Um, the reason why I say it was a little bit of a disappointment is because we didn't really get any major announcements. I mean, we got an announcement accidentally, but uh, it wasn't the one I was looking forward to, and that announcement was we are getting a trick or treat scare zone, which I would I would have much rather had a killer clowns from outer space scare zone. And John Murdy kept teasing that in the panel, saying that even though Orlando gets something first as a scare zone, uh, don't you know never say never for the uh, us at Hollywood because he'll probably get it in the next year or so. Example being Trick or Treat, they got it as a Scare Zone last year and we getting it as both a maze and a Scare Zone this year, so I'm a little skeptical about the Scare Zone, very excited for the maze, but we will see what happens. Um, nonetheless though, the panel was just awesome, we saw a lot of behind the scenes stuff for both Orlando and Hollywood, Mike Aiello was there and he is just by far one of the funniest guys I've ever seen, uh, ever just got the chance to like listen, speak at a panel, he was very excited to be there and you could tell he's a fan by heart just like us in the uh, uh, audience, so that was really fun to see. Um, I actually tweeted him, found out he was a gamer, and he was like, uh, he was really cool about it, so that was really cool. Um, other than that though, Midsummer Scream was just a fun experience. Uh, like I said, I met up with SoCal Exploring, the league, uh, and I'm, I, uh, I got to say hi to Awkward Arsic, um, but it was still cool to meet up with everyone. Had a fan experience, which that was really fun, and yeah, so. Uh, the Hall of Shadows was awesome. We went through the Donnie Darko experience. We, we didn't get to go through the Trick or Treat one. That was a very long line, but I really wanted to. But I heard it, I heard a lot of good things about it. I've seen it all over the internet, and it looks awesome. Uh, we went through the Donnie Darko experience and a couple other the little haunts that were really cool. There was actually one that was a trailer haunt where you had to like it was very interactive and you had to like crawl and stuff like that. And me being a big guy, that was kind of hard. So. Yeah, guys, that is going to be your news for this week. I just wanted to inform you on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button. Hit that bell notification to be aware when I put up a new video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel to be part of the nights because our nights are growing up. We're getting there. We're getting almost 200, and I'm very excited for that. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.